Hello, my name is Devani, and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. This week, I will be giving the lowdown on how I bought my Burberry trench from the real real. I'll be talking about how I decided what coat to buy, including sizing, a little bit of information on that. The buying process from the real real. I'll be talking about getting the coat authenticated by a couple of third parties. I'll also be talking about getting it dry cleaned and re-waterproofed by Burberry. And then last, I'm gonna be giving like some mod shots and showing you how I actually have been wearing the coat so far. Let's go ahead and get right into it, starting with how I decided what coat to buy. Um, I've been wanting a Burberry trench for about a year now, probably a little bit more. I think it's perfect for the spring. You know, everybody, it's a classic piece. I don't need to go into too much detail. Um, so I really wanted one for this spring. Um, and I had gone into Burberry a few months ago, you know, deeper into the winter to try one on because I wasn't sure about the sizing. I'm usually like a size small, around a size four. Um, and I usually get my coats in a size medium just to size up so I have room to layer. Um, so I wanted to go into Burberry to, si to find out exactly how the sizing runs. Um, and the sales associate was very helpful and I tried on a couple and I, des I decided that I really wanted a longer silhouette um, and the longer silhouette for Burberry right now is the Waterloo coat. I tried it on basically in a, it's a US size six and I think it's a UK eight cause it's British sizing. And so it's a little bit different. Um, and I like, I like the Waterloo for not only the length of the coat, but also the way the sleeves are cut. They're like raglan sleeves. Um, so I have like really broad, like shoulders all up in here and stuff like my arms and stuff. So I really like to have a little bit of extra room. And then especially if you have like a denim jacket underneath a sweater underneath, if you want to just have a little bit of extra room and I found that the Waterloo you know it really was super comfortable and easy to wear even when I had like a turtleneck and a denim jacket layer underneath it was still super comfortable so that's what I decided that I wanted to purchase but then you know the pricing always gets in the way so brand new retail those go for $2,490 plus tax which depends on where you live and I live in New York so the taxes they ain't no joke okay so I decided you know what it's not really in my budget to pay 2500 plus on a coat. So let me go ahead and look on the secondhand market. And I was stalking the real world, stalking the real world, looking for longer length trenches. I've noticed that it's really hard to find one that is long. Like you can find one that's like knee length, you know, even like, you know, kind of torso length, whatever. But to find like a really long length one, even for someone like me that's around 5'3", it's not easy, you know? Um, so I really wanted one that was like at least, I think it's 40 inches long. Um, and finally I found one and I think it was on the real world for what was it 825 or something like that and that was too much it was my size it had the raglan sleeves it was 40 inches the Waterloo I think is around 45 or 47 inches um, but again it is so hard to find coats in that length that have like the cut that I wanted um, so I was, you know, I saw the 40 inch one and I was like, okay, this is great, but 825 girl, I'm not going to be able to pay that. And so I kind of put it in like, you know how on the real world you can kind of favorite things. I think they call it like your obsessions. So I put the little heart on it and continued to stalk this code going on back on the, the website day after day after day. Um, and it went down a couple of times. Finally, it went down to like, I don't know, like 660 or something like that. I'm like, okay, we're getting in the ballpark, but still not there. And I decided I wanted to pay less than 600. So that was like my bench, my benchmark, right? And so one, one day I went on the website and I got an alert. Hey girl, your obsession is on sale. Went in my little, you know, in this obsessions area and it was 577. I said, okay, add to cart and I bought it. So I ended up getting it for 577 plus tax and the, I think they charge like 1295 for shipping. Um, considerably less than what I would have got it for new, obviously. Um, so then, you know, I, it, I think it took about maybe a week to come in the mail. It comes in like, you know, definitely a box and then they put like a real, real little drawstring. It put, they put it in the bag. I was hoping it would come with like the Burberry garment bag, but it did not, you know, you get what you pay for. So I didn't get that, but I had like the little real, real bag or whatever to put it in. Um, and that was cool. I tried it on, it fit pretty well. It's not as long as I want it to be. I have to admit, it isn't as long, but it checked a lot of the boxes. It, you know, it's a good color, it's in good condition. It does have a couple of little spots on it, but that was as expected as described on the website, so I had no problem with that. Um, it has the cute little Burberry check on the interior and underneath of the collar. Um, actually, you know, I should be showing you this. So this is the coat here. As you can see, it has the Burberry check on the inside. And this is the 
bottom of the collar has it there and it's beautiful I really think that you know I'm happy with how it came out the only thing is like I said I wish it was a little bit longer and also the belt on the coat is kind of short so that's one thing like I don't love about this coat but all in all it really checks the boxes and honestly for the most part I'm not going to be tying the the actual belt for the most part I will be like doing that little bur of course it's untied right now but I'll be basically tying it behind me you know to kind of you can tie it and you can search on here like how to how to um, tie the waist, the belt on a Burberry coat. They have all type of instruction videos for that, so I'm not even gonna waste your time because I am still struggling to do it, okay? Um, but all in all, I do like this coat. Now, let's get into the part where I started spiraling. So I started calling around because I know I need, you know, this is secondhand. I knew that I needed to go ahead and get this dry clean. I started calling around and I called this place called Jeeves. I think it's in New York City, like in Manhattan. Um, and they said that they charged around 285 I think it, I think that's what it is it was a lot of money but it was like kind of what I expected um and so she also asked me a question she said does your Burberry trench do the, do the buttons say Burberry and that kind of sent me spiraling I'm not gonna lie because I'm like oh my gosh my buttons don't say Burberry so does I that mean spiraling and I'm like you know I I've heard a couple of things here and there about the authentic authentication on the real real being a little shaky so I said you know what let me go ahead and get this authenticated by a third party the first site that I went to um, was called legit grails uh, and how it works is you kind of go on the website you pick the brand you know you let them know what kind of what piece you're trying to get authenticated and they kind of walk you through how what, what pictures to send them and you go ahead and upload it straight to the website you can do it on your phone that's how I did it um, and you basically pay based on how quickly you want to hear back from them so I said 24 hours was fine and I think I paid what was it uh, $15 and I heard back from them in about 22 hours. And while I was waiting, I said, you know what? I haven't heard that much about Legit Girls. Let me get this authenticated by another site as well. I, I was spiraling, okay? And so I went on this site, it's called Legit App, and you have to download an app onto your phone. Um, and once you download it, you can go ahead, I think you have to buy like tokens. And the, you use the tokens to pay for what services you need. It was very, it was ridiculous, but it was pretty easy once you figured that out. Um, and again, the app kind of walks you through, like take a picture of like, take a picture of the tag, take a picture of the lining, take a picture of this, this, that, and it tells you everything that you need to do. Um, and you go ahead and upload it and you can, you know, pay again based on how quickly you wanted to hear back. Um, and so I said, you know what, let me just pay for, to hear back in like six hours or something like that. Um, and that was $10 to hear back. Um, and I ended up hearing back from them in about one hour, maybe even less. And both of these companies, they got back to me via email and they said, hey girl, your your item is authentic, so don't worry about it. So I felt really good after that. And so I said, okay, now I'm really gonna focus on getting this item cleaned. I tried to take this to my neighborhood dry cleaner right down the block from me. And because this coat has leather, um, the little buckles everywhere on the, on the belt and on the sleeves and on the cuff as well um, have leather on it they don't clean these kind of coats because whatever process they use would mess up the leather on here um, and that's something that you definitely need to think about like your neighborhood cleaner might not clean these you might have to take it to like a more like bougie cleaners or whatever um, and I ended up going to a cleaners it was called embassy cleaners it's a couple of miles from me it's a little bit of a hike but you know they weren't too bad and they charged me $50 because they have to, the way that they do it is they take off all of the different um, buckles and then they have to sew them back on. So it is a little bit more labor intensive, so it was $50. Um, and you know, a coat can be expensive to clean anyway. You usually don't have to clean it that often, thank God. Um, but $50 I thought was a lot better than the first place I, would, I had called. The only thing is that cleaners does not do the waterproofing. So I had to go ahead and call Burberry to find out about the waterproofing. Uh, and for some reason, they don't tell you over the phone how much it's gonna cost to get that done. Um, so I just had to make an appointment. You can make an appointment on Burberry's website, it's pretty easy. And you go in, 
Um, and what they do is they have to do, I don't know what they do, but they have to look at it briefly um, to kind of figure out, to make sure that it is a candidate to be re-waterproofed. I guess it has to be like that 100% cotton gabardine material um, in order for it to go through that process. And so they take it in the back. It takes maybe like, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe even less. I was just walking around looking at hats because now I want a hat to go with my, <laughs> my trench coat. Um, and they come back out and she's like, okay, yeah, we can definitely do it. And the price for that was $200. So, and the way that that works is they go ahead, they ring you up, you pay, and they send it off to God knows, I don't know, Timbuktu, the UK, I don't know, girl, where they send it. But they go ahead and send it out. Um, and then they mail it back to your home address. You just give them what address you want it to be sent with. And it's sent with, um, it's sent, they sent it with UPS, which, I'm sorry, UPS is the best. Out of all the, you know, myriad shippers out there i think ups is the best so it's pretty good and it takes about i want to say so let me see i went into the 57th street burberry store on march 11th um and then i got it back on um let's see oh on april 14th so a little bit over a month and you know i was getting worried because you know it's it's trench season i wanted to wear my little trench and it came right in the nick of time. So I was pretty happy with that process. I want to say, though I paid $200, um, that's the, they, I had really no relationship with Burberry before. I have like a hat from Burberry, but I didn't even buy it from them. Um, so I didn't buy this coat from them. But I have heard, uh, somebody commented on, on one of my prior videos, and thank you so much for saying this, uh, if you're watching. If you bought your coat from Burberry, and it's probably within a certain amount of time, they they will rewaterproof it for free. They won't do the dry cleaning, but they will rewaterproof it for you. So if you bought your coat from Burberry, just you know what what's the harm in just going in there and you know asking them like, hey, how much is it going to cost to get this rewaterproof? Especially if it's you know the gabardine, you know the classic uh, gabardine cotton trench, you can get it rewaterproof for free, which I thought was really cool. Um, or they might charge you. So what, what's the harm in asking, right? Um, and I also want to say is when they shipped my coat back, they shipped it in this little cute little garment bag. So it says a little Burberry on the back. It was cute, right? So, you know, you get a, you get a, you pay $200, which is very steep, but you get a free little garment bag, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> so I definitely think, you know, I'm excited to keep on wearing this. I have been wearing it a little bit. Um, and I'm excited to keep on wearing it. And I can't say that it's worth the $200, but I mean, you want it to be waterproof. You're gonna wear it in the rain a little bit. So do the thing. If you're gonna do it, just go ahead and do the thing, right? <laughs> okay, so how I've been wearing this, I think, you know, you know how to wear a darn trench coat, right? But I'll just uh, talk about some ways. You can wear it dressed up. You can wear it dressed down with jeans. Um, I don't find that it's, I find that it's a very easy piece to add to my wardrobe, you know, and this color, because it's such a neutral, you can wear it over anything. You know, I saw a, a picture, I don't know if I was on TikTok or something like that, and this lady had on, it looked like a Burberry trench, I don't know, she had a trench coat, a classic, um, like, you know, this camel colored, khaki colored, whatever, trench on, and she had it like with a red leather purse, and I thought the red with this went really well. Um, so I'll show you like me wearing like a red dress underneath in my trench with some black boots But you can also dress it down like when I had first tried on the trench in uh, the Burberry store I had like some like I don't know like windbreaker You drawstring pants on with a turtleneck and a denim jacket on There are so many easy ways to wear it. I'll also show you uh, me wearing this with like some black jeans and a little turtleneck just it's such an easy piece and you can just get so much wear out of it whether you want to dress it down or dress it up um, now I'm not gonna lie to you. My dream trench coat is still a very long one. I still want that Waterloo. One day I might go ahead and invest in it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe not in the khaki color. Maybe I'll get it in a black. Maybe it'll come in like a red, which is my favorite color. I don't know, you know, but it's still on the radar. It is still on the radar. And you know, I think you can, I think having a couple of trenches in your collection is for the best. And I think having, you know, actually I think I just decided I needed in black. I think that's what I just, <laughs> and I will keep, I will keep stalking on the real road because if this, if the long one ever comes in, in my size, in the black now, I might have to do it. 
I might have to do it. But all in all, I think this was a great purchase and I can't wait to just keep on wearing it. Um, I think I saved a lot of money. Uh, one thing to note about these, I've noticed that they wrinkle so easily. Oh my gosh, they wrinkle so easily. So I'm thinking about investing in like a steamer. I've been thinking about that anyway. So I'm thinking about, I guess, investing in a steamer just to like get all these wrinkles out. Like I've only worn this like maybe two or three times since I got it back. And, oh, you can see it a little bit. Like the little wreck, like girl, what is going on? So I don't know what's happening, but I do love my trench. If you have any questions, please let, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm also gonna make like a longer, a long blog post on my website just to explain the whole process and anything that I miss. Cause sometimes when you're talking, you miss things. I'm just gonna go ahead and write it down in case anyone is interested. Um, I think that's all for me. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, maybe you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. You can also check me out on my website, shortnotsweet.com. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram at shortnotsweetdevany. I'll show you how I'll be styling up this coat and other things as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and please take care of yourself. Bye.